Hi, everyone. I'm preparing myself physically, but also spiritually for the fast of Tisha B'Av, which begins tonight at 8.52. I wanted to share what I'll be thinking about this Tisha B'Av, and I hope it's meaningful for you. Tisha B'Av is known as the saddest day on the Jewish calendar. It's the date when both our temples were destroyed in Jerusalem. So why cry? Our first temple was destroyed because of the three cardinal sins, idol worship, illicit relations, and murder. But it was rebuilt seven years later. We were able to recover pretty quickly because, as Reb Shlomo Karlobach Zatzal says, those were sins from the outside of us. But the second temple, our rabbis teach us, was destroyed over Sinas Chinam, baseless hatred of our fellow Jew. And this type of sin, says Reb Shlomo, is coming from the inside, from a much deeper place. And it's been 2,000 years, and still we haven't learned our lesson. I'm trying this year to connect to the destruction of the temples and think about what that must have felt like. So my mind immediately goes to the Holocaust. This is a pain that's much closer to me that I can actually feel it. In the book, To Heal a Fractured World, Rabbi Jonathan Sachs of Blessed Memory writes about the Lubavitcher Rebbe. Rabbi Sachs describes the situation after the Holocaust, where Jews were uprooted from their environments in Israel, most were disconnected and a momentous effort was needed to bring Jews back to Judaism and Judaism back to Jews. Menachem Mendel Schneerson Zatzal was the first Rebbe to become Rebbe after the Holocaust. But how can you bring back the Jewish people after such a destruction? The flame of Yiddishkeit burned so brightly and then six million flames extinguished. Can you even imagine? The Rebbe did something extraordinary. He said to himself, if the Nazis searched out every Jew in hate, we will search out every Jew in love. According to Rabbi Sachs, this was the most radical response to the Holocaust, and I believe the most effective. I am the recipient of that love. I have made it my mission to share that love with my fellow Jews and the world. Today, anti-Semitism is on the rise, and Baruch Hashem, there are so many organizations fighting it, but no one is saying what the Rebbe said. How can we fight against something coming from the outside if the inside isn't united? If you want to fight Sinas Yisrael, baseless hatred of Jews, then we must practice Ahavas Yisrael, love of our fellow Jews. Throughout the year, we try to focus on all that's good, all the good that's going on, and there is so much for us to be proud of. But as Tisha B'Av approaches, I want to address, as the rabbis do, the challenges we face. In our communities, there's judgment, jealousy, and unkindness. Clearly, if we have no temple, we still have work to do. Rabbi Sachs echoes the Rebbe's message to us today. He says, if we love Jews, we must love them more. Each one of us has a unique mission to accomplish, and we need each other more than ever to accomplish it. The world needs us, and God knows we can do it. We don't need another Tisha B'Av to remind us of where we have fallen short. I pray this will be the last Tisha B'Av. I want to end with a famous quote. It's from a movie called The Hurricane, which is based on the true story of prize fighter Reuben Hurricane Carter. He was wrongly convicted of murder and imprisoned for nearly 20 years. And he said, hate put me in here. Love's going to bust me out. Friends, it's enough already. Let's bust ourselves out of the situation we got ourselves into. And just in case Mashiach shows up, I'll meet you at the Kotel. Wishing you all an easy and meaningful fast.